Isn't that beautiful? That's nice, right? That is gorgeous. This is my backyard. <laughs> so the plan is to read like a chapter of this to you. And um, it's called The Miracle of Fasting. It's a health book. It doesn't just talk about fasting. And I'm being a hypocrite because I'm about to smoke a cigarette and then preach health. But here we go. Yeah, not really, because I'm not even writing yet, so. This might be better with a little bit of music. Yeah. So I just got a new iPhone. Yes, I got the latest iPhone from my friend who wants to, you know, have babies. But, you know, he's just like my friend. You know, I just woke up and I don't wear makeup. I've never worn makeup. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, maybe in the next video, I'll look prettier. I don't really look good on camera, so. It is what it is. Um, random, but not that random. So, since this is a video and I've watched videos, um, I like videos that are like, talking about people's psychedelic trips and they're always so much better hearing the story than like actually tripping for me anyway but yeah This is my life. So when I'm done smoking this, I'm gonna read this book. You're gonna love it. It's awesome. It's by Paul C. Bragg, who has a ND and a PhD. He's a life extension specialist. And Patricia Bragg is ND, has an ND and PhD. She also wrote in this book. And she's a health and fitness expert. And then, that's, yeah, that's the main thing. Proven Thought History for Physical, Mental, and Spiritual Rejuvenation. Yeah. So, this book brainwashed me to not eat, not go on a 40-day fast because I was too young to do that. You have to be, like, at least 25 because that's when your brain fully develops. I've heard is when the time is... Yeah. Um, if you find that I'm talking too slow, you know, there's like a feature on here where you can tap on the screen and then go to the top three buttons on, on the top right corner that are like vertical, not horizontal, vertical. 
and and then you click on that and you click on speed and then you can make it go faster so then you can read it either in slow motion or really fast or however you like i usually speed it up sometimes i slow it down because it's funnier that way You're gonna love um, me reading. I'm a really good reader. It's one of my special skills. I learned how to do that in elementary school. I've started actually reading like the Bible um, in my freshman year of high school. Never been the same since. Some crazy stuff happened. I'll tell you that in a different video. Or in my book. I'm writing a book. And it's really good. So far. But, um, I just have, like, a rough draft so far. 16 pages. Not very long. I wrote everything down I could, like, think of to write down. There's, like, one more thing I could put there, but I don't really feel like putting it down. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Corona. Okay. You know what? Should I start from the very beginning? Or, like, at the first chapter. I'll start with the first chapter. Chapter 1, The Miracle of Fasting, helps you enjoy a supercharged, healthy, happy, long life. Every thinking person must at one time or another say to himself, Am I getting the most out of life? The great comedian Ed Wynn said, Without your health, riches, possessions, and fame are all mud. What is a man without health, even though he endowed with riches and fame? Riches cannot buy health and happiness just because a person has achieved fame. It does not follow that he is healthy and happy. I do not discredit success and riches. I think money and possessions have a place in our lives. Physical comforts and luxuries are important to most people. Take away a man's wealth and give him only health and his first desire will be the return of his riches. However, with both achieved, a word remains which we hate to utter. A thought we dread to contemplate, a thing which gives sorrow, pain, and grief. That word, that thought, that thing is death. Even in cases where life appears a burden, how tenaciously does man cling to it? How the spirit recoils from a struggle with death. How fondly it returns its grasp on life. Man's great desire is for health and long life on earth. Man clings to the world as his home and would want to live here forever. If he had health and long lasting youthfulness. No, my father and I wrote this book together. However, because my father is both my mentor and the American pioneer of fasting, with long years of experience overseeing the fasting of thousands of students with miraculous results. This test is mostly presented in his voice, Patricia Bragg. I have found a perfect health, a new state of existence, a feeling of purity and happiness, something unknown to humans. Novelist Upton Sinclair, a frequent faster, even, yet even now says the Lord returned to me. Bragg motto, I love life and want to live. 
At our Bragg Health Crusade lectures, I often sing my favorite song called I Love Life and I Want to Live for My Students. These strong words express the inner desires of each one of us. Life in itself is a miracle, and you and I who have precious life are holding this miracle in the palms of our hands to treasure and protect. Life is precious. It's the treasure of treasures. Since Adam and Eve lived in that historic Garden of Eden, the prolongation of human life has been and still is mankind's biggest challenge. The Persian and Greek sages in the centuries before Christ summoned their intellectual forces to solve it in vain. The scholars of the medieval ages pursued it zealously, but again were stimmied. Stimmied. Today, in this fast-paced space age, space age, every intelligent person deep in their heart and soul wants to live a healthy, long life. Most lack the proper health knowledge, the true key to a long, active, healthy life. By following my mentors, Mother Nature's, and God's natural laws, I invented the Bragg Healthy Lifestyle. Follow it, and you can live to a healthy, active, advanced age. Every person owes it to himself, his relatives, his friends, and his country to take care of his health. This will make him a valued active citizen, not a financial burden. <coughs> I believe that everyone is entitled to active lives of 120 years or more, as the Bible states. Man's days shall be 120 years. Genesis 6.3 Longevity may be defined as the maximum duration of life that a healthy person can attain under the most healthy, favorable conditions by living a healthy lifestyle. Unhealthy lifestyle killing millions worldwide. Most people, because of their unwise habits and diet, drink and excesses. Die prematurely long before fulfilling their potential. Wild animals undisturbed live out their full term. Man is the only exception. Sadly, not more than one in a million lives out of his natural life. If you would imitate nature, you should take her simplicity for your model. M. Sindiboigus. Sickness is a crime against your body. Don't be a health criminal. Animals in the wild habitat know by instinct how to live and what to eat and drink. They know how to fast instinctively when they get hurt or sick. Naturally, animals are led to eat what is good for them. But man eats and drinks anything and everything, consuming the most indigestible concoctions. Con Concoctions, washing it down with the poisonous slops, and when then wanders, wonders why he is sickly and does not live to be a centenarian. In theory, humans desire a long life. Many shorten their lives to the minimum. Does this make sense? Why this marvelous mechanism of man, perfect in its minutest organism, combining a godlike intelligence with a body which sculptures have imitated but never equaled, should be ruthlessly destroyed by its owner's unhealthy lifestyle, is one of the inexplicable disgraces of our culture. The world-famous marble statue of Apollo that Patricia and I saw in the Vatican at Rome is not greater in the perfection of manly beauty than that possessed by thousands of young men in our midst today. This inanimate marble of Apollo is as tenderly cared for as a rare priceless jewel. Meanwhile, living man, noble, intellectual, refined, with a miraculous physical structure and an eternal soul, gives his wonderful body less attention than he gives to his car, cat, or dog. All people of sound mentality naturally desire a long, healthy, pain-free, happy, and useful life. With our natural intelligence, super health, happiness, and longevity should be the rule instead of the exception. In my early career, I was associated with the great 
Bernard McFadden, the father and founder of the physical culture movement. I was the associate editor of the pioneer health magazine, Physical Culture. These lines always appeared on the front cover of every issue. Sickness is a crime, don't be a criminal. Old age is a highly toxic condition caused by nutritional deficiencies and an unhealthy lifestyle. Men do not die, they kill themselves. Quote by Seneca, Roman philosopher. Physical weakness, flabbiness, and sickness have always seemed criminal to me. A sacrilegious abuse that miracle of that miracle instrument, the human body. I regained, I regained my health after being a hopeless turbulocolosis. Turbulocolosis victim years ago, and since then I've made a religion of keeping in perfect health through conscientious care of my body. Adhering to a high ideal of stamina, vitality, health, and endurance has paid, has paid me great dividends. So priceless that I call myself a health billionaire. To be a health billionaire and enjoy the glow of ageless health and happiness, you must work and earn it. The secret of the glow of ageless health lies in maintaining internal cleanliness and regeneration. This requires eating natural, organically grown life foods, combined with other healthy practices such as fasting, drinking distilled water, exercising, and deep breathing. When you purify your body with systematic fasting and live foods, you crave daily exercise, and by exercising, you sculpt your body to become the person you want to be. Just think, from this minute on, you can mold your body to physical perfection. With the knowledge found in these pages, you will find out how you can reap the most out of life, physically, mentally, and spiritually. The human race is a miracle, unique study, and an intriguing one. But the natural laws which govern man are simple and understandable if one takes the time to learn and observe how he functions from day to day. Life can be a happy and joyous adventure. To know oneself seems like an endless task, but with crystal clear observation and the daily application of these simple but precise laws, life becomes not only a most exciting adventure, but a tremendous joy. Study and follow the Bragg Healthy lifestyle throughout your life, and you will start to experience the day-by-day -day joys, happiness, and truly great pleasures of healthy body, mind, and soul for a happy, long, vigorous life. Exercise along with healthy foods and some fasting helps maintain or restore a healthy physical balance and normal weight for a long, happy, vital life. That is chapter one of The Miracle of Fasting by Paul C. Bragg and Patricia Bragg. Come back for more for chapter two on the next video. Bye-bye.